in Bedford Heights, a community is mourning the loss of two brothers who were shot and killed last weekend. The bar where it happened held a vigil tonight in their honor, hoping to bring peace and support to the family. Arbery Buckley was there and has more. They the last people that we expected for this to happen to. And they made everybody smile, they made everybody laugh. Remembering two lives taken too soon. It's rough for everybody. A touch of Italy holding a candlelight vigil for brothers Josh and Dominic Cunningham. The two were shot and killed outside the sports bar on Aurora Road in Bedford Heights just after two last Saturday morning. They were there helping their dad, Jack, DJ, a Friday night family tradition for the last couple years. They were like family to us. It's sad. I mean, I, I, lost, I lost sleep for him. And knowing and Jack is a good guy, he's, he's a good community guy, it's sad, it's tough. So, I mean, obviously you see this, the wave of support, so it shows that he was a great, great people. The bar collecting donations for the family and giving a portion of sales from the night. We're really trying to take the negative buzz off of us. I mean, it's an unfortunate situation and we just got to do better as a community as a whole. Family friends sharing how the tragedy is impacting their dad, losing his sons where he works. You lose two of your boys here in your establishment where you work. How do you carry your own life? God knows what God is doing, and uh, his sons did everything in life together, you know, and they left this world together. So I know you got, you got to take some solace in that them two are together forever, and they always have been. As police continue to search for the gunman, releasing this photo as a person of interest, those close to the family are calling for justice. Jack is an amazing guy that will give you the shirt off his back. He didn't deserve this. His kids didn't deserve this. And we, we as a community need to stand behind him and, and get some justice for the Cunningham family. Police tell us there have been several criminal incidents in the, in the past at a touch of Italy, but management tells us they had security team that night as they do most nights. And Russ, after this incident, they're closing an hour early, so that's at 1 a.m. on the weekends. And then they said they're going to close the doors at midnight to not allow more people to come in as a way to protect patrons as well. Okay, Bree Buckley, thank you. Of course.